welcome to another episode of the Steel's Meals. This time, we're grilled chicken. So I'm gonna do a couple different ones. I'm gonna marinate some in Mar- I'm gonna marinate, I'm gonna- Marinade. I'm gonna marinate some in mesquite. I'm gonna do like this uh, smoked paprika rub. <laughs> I'm gonna do a smoked paprika, how do you say it? Paprika. Paprika. I'm gonna do a smoked paprika rub, and then also I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce at the end of a couple of breasts. So we have chicken for the week. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take chicken and trim off some of the excess pieces and fat that are on, that happen to be on the chicken. Um, once I get done, that done, then I'll, I'll marinate, so. A lot of times I wear gloves when I, when I cook. Um, when I'm handling kind of meat, um, chicken, you know, if I'm smoking something, I'll wear gloves. It's a lot, a lot easier to clean up, plus it's safe, sanitary. So that's one thing I do a lot is wear these rubber gloves that I get. I get mine from Amazon. Um, I think you can actually get them from, I think uh, any kind of store has them, but I just, I really like these and they fit over. I got some um, heat gloves, I guess, to, so I can touch hot items and then I put these over. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting some gloves if you handle, you know, chicken or any kind of meat. All right, we got the chicken all trimmed. I got my mess cleaned up. I got everything out for my marinades and my rub, what I'm using. First, I'm gonna start with the mesquite. I used Grill Mates marinade right here. Um, it's very simple. It's something, I mean, you can make your own marinade, I guess, but this is a very simple recipe. So what you do, first take the, the packet of the marinade, dump it in a bowl, and then, You'll have a fourth of a cup of olive oil and a fourth of a cup of water. So that's it. That's what the marinade consists of. Then you gotta stir it. A whisk uh, works actually really well, but I think our small whisk is then how many money is broke. No. <laughs> Please so, don't put that in there. <laughs> hey, shh. You want to make sure everything's mixed up. As you can see, it's getting there, I guess. I don't wanna splatter it all over me. So once that's done, you wanna take a chicken breast and we're doing five chicken breasts in the mesquite. So I'll get out five. And then you'll take the marinade Dump it in the bag. I use a bag, you can use bowls, but bags are super simple. Um, just because, just make sure you squeeze all the air out of it. And then take much room, plus you can mix it around like this to make sure it's covering the chicken. That's the biggest thing you wanna do. You wanna make sure that the marinade's covering all the chicken. Um, so that's done. You know, set it in the refrigerator. Um, 30 minutes up to a few hours. The longer you have it in there, the more flavor there's gonna be. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab um, some of the, actually the rest of these chicken breasts. Oops. Put them in a bowl. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take, this is kind of something that threw together. I use, this right here has salt, pepper, and this swerve, it's a zero calorie sweetener. Um, the ultimate sugar replacement. So I use that. It'll have like four, tea, four teaspoons of the sugar and a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, really. Then you have smoked paprika and regular paprika. Paprika, not paprika, paprika. And so you take that and just mix it with my finger. It'll be a lot easier. <laughs> um, so I have kind of like a, a rub. What I'll do, dump it all around the chicken. And then I guess I'll just mix the chicken up in it. You just want to make sure it's covering every bit of the chicken. As you can see, I'll take one of the breasts that, as you can see, they're pretty well covered with all the, the rub. There's some, and you'll see it more on others, but not a big deal. Just want to make sure it's all covered up. I'll put this one in the refrigerator as well and have that sit for probably about a half hour, probably both about a half hour, and then I'll just throw them on the grill. Okay, 
now that I have the chicken marinated, it's been in the refrigerator for a while, take it out, come out here outside. It's right now it's January, what is it, the 22nd? And it's mid 50 degrees. So it's great grilling weather. So what I do, I have my grill set on high. I'm gonna turn that down to about medium now. Um, and now I'll just put the chicken breast on. Okay, I'm gonna come around. Yeah. Started here with the, the one that I put the paprika on. Then I'll go to the mesquite. Now, I'll leave them on one side, close the lid, leave it on there for um, a few minutes. Uh, I'll just judge by, you know, as far as I'll flip them. And the main thing was the chicken. It's not time. It can be, depending on how thick your chicken is, it can be a lot of different temperatures. Like as far as timing wise, you want it 160 degrees as far as the internal temperature. And I'll use my thermometer here to test it. So, we'll come back out in a little bit and flip them and let them cook, continue to cook. All right, these been on for a little bit. I'm gonna flip them now and let them continue to cook. I'll come back out here in a few minutes, five minutes or so, and check the temperature on them to see where the temperature's at. I'll say once it hits 160, I'll take them off and bring them inside and let them rest for a little bit. Okay, chicken's been on for, I'd say roughly 20 minutes or so, I think. I went ahead and put some barbecue sauce on these two, just brushed it on. Um, now I'm gonna check the temperature. Um, I got this, you can get this on Amazon. Basically open it up, it'll instant read thermometer. So I'll take the chicken, I'll test it. It's yeah, well over 160, so that's good. Uh, let me just test a couple more just to see. Since it hits 160, I'll be good. Almost. So, um, what I do now, I gotta make sure they're separated. You got the two barbecue, you got the ones with the paprika on it, and the mesquite. So, I'm just gonna take them off, put them on the pan, and take them inside to rest. And I'm gonna do some different things with the chicken. Uh, these I'm gonna actually make a chicken salad with. These barbecue ones we're actually gonna have for lunch. And Christine's gonna do some chicken pasta, basil pasta or something with the other chicken. So now we're gonna go inside and uh, cut one open and see what it looks like. Yeah. All right, now got them inside. So I'm gonna grab one that I'm gonna have for lunch and cut it and see how it looks. And then I'm gonna try it. Mmm, it's good. It's great. Anyways, this is it. Uh, grilled chicken. It can be pretty simple. You can just throw on a chicken breast if you want. You don't have to put marinade um, or brush your barbecue sauce or whatever. Very simple. You just want to make sure the temperature of your chicken gets at least 160. Um, take it off, let it rest for a little bit, and you'll be good to go. So again, if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you again for some more of Steel's Meals. Thank you.